What's going on guys? It has been way too long and to be honest with you, I almost lost this tank. My phosphates were through the roof and I hate to say this, but I lost my two beautiful clams. There was one over here and I had another one over here. I, uh, I messed up guys. I uh, was overfeeding basically and the phosphates were too high and I wasn't doing enough water changes. Honestly, rookie mistake. I have everything under control now and <laughs> are you guys ready for this? I have seven now rose bubble tip anemones and they are massive and they're doing good except this guy right here. He's a little runt of the litter, but he's getting, he's getting better. Fish are doing wonderful. All the other corals are doing good. So nothing else died, thank God. Although losing two clams was a big hit, hit in the chest because they're expensive and uh, they were beautiful. So that's a bummer. But you guys ready for the craziest news of all? They made it, guys. And there's the eggs. I don't know if you can see them. Look at that. Those are clownfish eggs look at that is that not amazing it's probably like i don't know maybe a hundred right there so my frostbite clownfish mated with my black storms now if anyone knows what a black storm and a frostbite baby looks like or what it's called please let me know because i have looked everywhere on the internet and I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know if I'm making a new species unheard of, but I can't find any information on the internet. So you guys let me know, man. Dragon Soul Torch is getting massive, by the way. Everything's doing good. I hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys had a wonderful, happy new year. And, um, you know, let me know uh, what you guys have been up to and I'm gonna start making some videos monthly again. I got everything back on track. Everything's looking good and uh, it's thriving well. Got this new guy today. Pretty cool, huh? Little goby. Beautiful guy. Well guys, I'll let you go. And uh, obviously I'm gonna try to hatch these baby clownfish. I already got the separate tank over here everything that I need for it. And um, we'll see what happens, guys. I've never tried to breed them before. I heard it's very difficult, but I'm gonna do my very best. If you guys have any suggestions or helpful hints or tips that maybe you guys have done, if you guys have bred your own clownfish, that'd be good, good to know. But uh, other than that, this is pretty much it, man. The tank is, is still looking good. It's, uh, it's still doing its thing, man. So you guys be good. And uh, I'll chat with you in the comments. See you guys.